Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to discuss the structure and function of the financial markets. Financial markets allow the interaction of those who want capital with those who have capital. The financial markets facilitate, first, the raising of funds and capital in money and capital markets. Second, facilitate international trade in currency markets. Third, facilitate the transfer of risk in derivatives market. To better understand the function and structure of financial markets, let's take a look at this diagram. So this is the financial markets. Imagine yourself in the financial markets. Okay? So in the financial market, as, as I have said a while ago, it facilitates the raising of funds and capital. It allows the interaction of those who want capital with those who have capital. Those who have money, those who do not have money, those who need money. For example, there's an issuer. Okay. The issuers of securities in the financial markets. So these receipts are financial instruments, including securities which may be freely bought or sold in the financial markets. So who will buy these securities? is the investors. We call them investors. So these investors who have excess funds or who have funds bought freely the securities issued in the financial markets. Not only that, in the financial markets, a borrower promising to pay back funds or capital issues a receipt to the lender or investor. So for example, we have here the lenders. Okay, So the lenders will lend funds okay, to the borrowers through the financial markets okay so who are these issuers who are these borrowers who are these investors or who are these lenders they can either be the household sector okay because of course the household sector uh, those who have excess funds can buy stocks shares of stocks or securities in the financial markets, the corporate sector. So the corporate sector can either be an issuer or an investor, or also both can be a borrower or a lender. The government sector okay, and the offshore sector. So these form parts of the diagram of financial markets, as you can see here. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video presentation. See you next time.